Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the timing with this snow is pretty good. Most of it falling during the overnight while we're sleeping. Wake up tomorrow morning and it's gone. And as mentioned earlier, we're not expecting a, a big snowstorm here or excessive amounts of snow, just minor accumulations of which we'll show you again in just a second. Light snow in Providence and it is light snow just for the fact that the visibility right now is pretty good, though the visibility will start to drop during the overnight as the snow picks up a little bit. It's been kind of a snow rain mixture down in Newport and you can see the flakes coming down on the camera lens right in here and any rain along the coastline will quickly change over to snow in the uh, next couple uh, of hours. So really everything unfolding as expected overnight uh, wet snow continues only minor accumulations during the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning it's gone a mix of clouds and sun drier. Some roads from the snow overnight may be slick. I don't see really big big problems and Wednesday afternoon very windy. The wind picking up gusts of 40 to 45 miles per hour. There may be a quick isolated snow shower with a separate weather system tomorrow afternoon. Not a big deal, but the temperatures will be falling throughout the day. This sets up for much colder sharply colder weather uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. Temps now low in mid 30s, 33 uh, Smithfield, 36 Providence, mid 30s along the coastline. These numbers will be dropping off during the overnight and into early tomorrow morning. The blue is snow, the green is rain, and you can watch how the uh, the rain changes over to snow along the coastline. So this moisture is working inland right on schedule. It uh, extends back through central Connecticut. So it's a compact little storm system spinning right in here south of New England, but it's a fast mover, so it's going to be racing north and east and it's out of here by I would say four or five o'clock in the morning during the pre dawn hours. So because it's such a quick mover, it only puts down a little bit of snow, but we think it's enough to cause some slippery travel overnight early tomorrow morning. You see temperatures chilly enough to support a mainly a snow situation. So there's that system next uh, six to 12 hours as it races offshore. This is uh, five o'clock in the morning. It's well offshore eight o'clock in the morning. We have some sunshine with increasing wind and then during the afternoon the wind really picking up and again final accumulations north and west a dusting to an inch in this blue zone anywhere from an inch or two I'm leaning more towards the one inch but we'll go one to two in this blue zone and the two to three is confined from New Bedford out towards Cape Cod. So it's gone tomorrow morning, partly sunny, breezy and drier. There may be some roads that are slippery, so be mindful of that. Tomorrow afternoon, windy, colder, upper 30s to low 40s. Quick snow shower, mid to late day. Not every spot will catch one 10, 15 minutes and then it's gone. Much colder on Thursday. We're talking about wind chills during the daytime in the upper teens to low 20s. And what's incredible, as cold as it gets later tomorrow night into Thursday, Look at Saturday, spring like up to 60 with a chance of a scattered shower, a morning shower on Sunday, drying out in the afternoon with a high temperature of 55. That's a big swing from Thursday to Saturday. In the meantime, the snow continues overnight by four or five o'clock in the morning. It's gone. There may be some residual uh, slipperiness tomorrow morning. I don't think it's a big, big problem, but there may be some slick spots, so be mindful of that. I'm thrilled with the swing, though. You like that swing? Snow oh. out of here <laughs> and then 60 degrees. All right. Thanks, Tony. <laughs>